What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm going to go over the Bitcoin chart and give my analysis. Now just to start off, I want to go back to my last trade analysis video just to see where I was. Okay, so this was on the 21st and we were at 6,173, so above this trend line in the red zone I had drawn. 61.73 and this was back on October 21st this was my last tra trade analysis video titled BTC price trade analysis multi-week downside ahead so let's go ahead and minimize that so we're at 61.73 so right around this area here so pretty much at the highs we got to 61.89 so what is that sixteen dollars sixteen dollars off the high i was calling for a pullback and we pretty much went nothing but down from there so in that video i talked about how this pattern we were seeing reminded me a lot of this pattern and i thought we were right here during that video because we were up here touching this trend line and last time Bitcoin price touched this trend line. We had multi-week downside. Same thing with the all-time high before that. We touched this trend line and we had multi-week downside. And I talked about how I thought it was going to go and make it down all the way to this trend line. I have some revised thoughts since then. Now, here's the old all-time high here. And the last our last all-time high that had a uh, drop afterwards you can see we went down to this trend line but it wasn't just this trend line it was also it also stopped right above this all-time high so right at this all-time high we got a turnaround over here so this is the old all-time high old all-time high that's where it stopped and in that last video I talked about it coming down to this trend line again but I have two zones that it could go down to now so let me let me erase these old buy areas so I can draw some new ones so here's the all-time high represented by this white line going across horizontally so now what I'm thinking is we might not fall all the way back down to this trend line we could either let me get a box here we go what I'm looking for here is we might stop at this old all-time high here which should be here this all-time high this white line we could stop there or like I said in the previous video we could make it all the way down to this trend line here let me make that a green box because that is a buy box so currently we're at the lower Bollinger Band here and we got a nice pump higher off of that so we could see some buying action back up to this trend line this downside trend line here that I have drawn from the all-time high down and where I basically think we're at in this pattern right now is if we zoom in here and compare it to this old pattern we're one two three let's say four days in the red here one two three four so the last fourth day we were in the red we bottomed out and the next days we got a little push higher and we could be looking at that scenario right now maybe one or two days of the upside action maybe pushing up to this trend line here but before we ultimately turn around and head higher and break through this trend line I think we're gonna have to come down and either reach this green buy box area of our last old all-time high or this green buy box area of the lower trend line here so there's still plenty of room on the downside from what I am seeing we're currently at 5543 this line here is pretty much right at 5,000 so that'd be another $540 drop 
and this down here is pretty much at 4,000 so that's got a lot more room to go but as far as we are in the time sequence we're only on day two of the downside trend here which if you look most recently our last day two downside trend which was this long candlewick day right here was a clear turnaround day where we fell really hard then came right back up and then closed just below the open and moved up from there so a couple days of upside action is definitely possible here uh, I think that'd be a healthy thing to happen just get us back maybe closer to this downside trend line here before it starts falling out again but you know no one knows this could be the bottom for this downside move but more likely than not it still has some room to run on the downside maybe after a day or two upside push so let me draw out just a rough rough estimate of what I am seeing so here we are maybe something like this bounce up to the trend line then come down here somewhat maybe get a bounce off of this but ultimately, I think we need to get down to this green buy box area, area of the all-time high, or back down to this trend line to see upside action again. Now, that this is just based off of what we've seen previously, these last two all-time highs right here and right here. I mean it's clear as day both times the all-time high touched this trend line and then from there we had multi-week downside action multi-week downside action and that's represented here by this downside trend line this is where we turned around on the first all-time high here this is where we turned around on the second one and both times moved to new all-time highs from there so if we follow just this pattern we've been seeing, we're looking at still a week or two, week, 10 days of downside action left. But I mean, not straight downside action. You know, this didn't, this one here didn't go straight down. This one here didn't even go straight down. It had this little breather in between, which I think we could quite possibly be at the breather stage of this downside move currently. Now I'm just going to quickly go over RSI. We're just trending sideways. We're out of the overbought area that we were in for a while. And it's just a sideways trend right now. We're pretty much going straight sideways at around the 58 level. So not much to take off of that. I mean the only thing I could say with that and these previous two moves is each time we didn't get the upside turnaround both here and here until the RSI hit the oversold area this green line here so you can see it hit that green line here and that's when we turned around and same thing here so in these past couple months two times it hit that oversold area is when we did have the turnaround but nothing to glean from the RSI at the current current moment we are clearly just in the middle of the range pretty much nothing to see here on the RSI so anyways that's gonna do it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all my crypto trading crypto investing crypto mining and the interesting crypto news thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video